Y'all let me sit here and recorded this whole video. This video. I made a whole video unboxing my new Brahmin bag only to find out there's no audio. I'm talking to myself. So I had to do it all over again. And I'm so sorry. Don't y'all hate when that happens. But I wanted to show y'all my new Brahmin bag. I already unboxed her. Listen, I'm sad about it, but she still got the tag on it because I just opened it. But do you want to know? You want to know how I got this cute Brahmin bag for free? Keep watching. So I got this free Brahmin bag and I know y'all are like free Ashley Brahmin don't give bags for free I know but I'm gonna teach you how you can get you one for free and no this is not clickbait no this is not some kind of scam did y'all watch my how to budget video did you watch that yet if you haven't watched that stop this video and go watch that one right now okay and then come back I'll wait okay now that you're back I want you guys to know that your financial freedom and your financial health is important to me. I am not a financial advisor. I'm not any kind of accountant. I'm just going to give y'all realistic tips from a real round the way girl, baby. I have been broke and busted and disgusted for many years of my life because I did not want to listen. I didn't want to follow a budget. I didn't want to be realistic with my money. But once I figured that thing out, Oh, baby, I was in there. Once I figured that thing out, I was in there. So here is something that a lot of wealthy people do. Well, Ash, how do you know this? If you don't know who I am, my light just went out. But I ain't going to stop. If you don't know who I am and what my background is, hi, my name is Ashley. I am a 17-year veteran hairstylist who went and got a business degree so I could run my business more efficiently effective efficiently effectively whichever word works apply it and i have a really great clientele a clientele that is full of a lot of money and i'm really blessed to have some incredible clients however my clients have gone through the fire they're a little older than me some of them are some of them have just learned about finances earlier so i'm the type of person that if you share information with me i'm going to do my own research and then apply it if it makes sense in my life i had quite a few clients talk to me and share with me five six seven years ago that one of their tricks in being able to afford really nice bags is credit now not how you think i'm not telling you to go use a credit card to buy your bag no 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 I am telling you to be smart with your credit card usage. I know a lot of us have been taught that credit is bad. Credit is not bad. The misuse of credit is bad. So watch this. Let's say you make $4,000 a month. Let's say your expenses are $3,000 a month. Could you take, this bag was $385. It was $238 on sale, by the way. You could take $238 out of that $1,000 surplus and just go buy your bag. You could. Or you could use your credit card that gets points and rewards and cash back. The wealthy do not use debit cards. The wealthy do not use cash. The wealthy uses credit. They use credit for everything. So what I learned is to use my credit card in order to pay for my monthly expenses. Now listen to me and listen to me good. Do not, do not, do not use this method if you know you have no self-control. If you know you will not be able to put all of your expenses on a credit card and then have the self-control to not spend your income so that you will have the money to pay for your credit card at the end of the month, 
Do not do this. I don't want anybody in a financial hardship at all. But I'm gonna give you a few benefits to using this method. One, if you put all of your $3,000 a month income, excuse me, expenses on your credit card, you will get the rewards. I love Bank of America. I have a couple of credit cards that I use with them that give me cash back. They give me 3% on gas, 2% on dining, and 1% on everything else. Now, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but over time, that cash back reward accumulates. And then with Bank of America, matter of fact, Bank of America, call me, okay? With the Bank of America, you can also go into their reward center and they have specific retailers that give you even more cash back. So it may be Best Buy, it may be Kroger online grocery shopping, it may be, who did I use the other day? Stanley, I ordered a Stanley cup, baby. I done fell into the Stanley crave. Stanley had 5% back. So the money that I'm gonna spend anyway, if I use my credit card, I can get all of this cash back. And after a few months of this method, you will have accumulated enough monies to buy that bag for free. After three, four, five months, and I know you're like, but I don't wanna wait that long. See, that's y'all's problem. Y'all want everything overnight and everything is not meant to have overnight what comes quick you will lose it quick okay but if you use this method and pay all of your expenses on your credit card and then every month pay that credit card off you get free cash free monies okay and a second benefit is you are showing the credit institution that you can be trusted so if you are trying to build your credit build your credit we all want that good credit score then you can use this method to build your credit because they're going to see well ash was responsible with a thousand dollars a month she'll be responsible for it too she was responsible with two let's give a five she was responsible with five let's give a ten and why do you need lines of credit like this because it's great for your credit profile when you get ready to go buy your house, when you get ready to go buy your car, all of these things look great as far as getting larger lines of credit. And for all of my entrepreneurial entrepreneurs out there, okay, let me get it together, baby. For all of my entrepreneurs out there, never use your cash. Keep yourself liquid because you never know what may happen. When you have lines of credit that you can use to reinvest in your business, if you know if I go buy 10 t-shirts, I can create 500 extra dollars in income for my business, don't use your cash to buy the 10 t-shirts. Put that on a line of credit to float you until you are ready to sell the t-shirts. And then when you make your profit back, pay the credit card off and then keep going, rent to repeat. That's what the wealthy do. The wealthy don't use your, their own cash. The wealthy does not use their cash out of their uh, bank accounts. The wealthy uses their credit to get what they want. Right, right. Now, yes, is there interest involved? Sometimes. But there was no interest involved with me getting this Brahmin bag because I used my cash rewards. And because I was fiscally responsible and because I had self-control and discipline, the cash that I had made throughout the week, throughout the month, I was able to pay that credit card off, get the reward points, and not pay any interest, okay? So that's how I got this Brahmin bag for free, okay? If you have not watched my how to budget video, watch that if you haven't already. But I'm trying to put y'all on. 2024 is the year for financial freedom for a lot of us. And we're going to do this thing together, okay? So thank you so much for watching, guys. Hi, guys. Bye, guys. I love you. We'll see y'all next time.